Hi, Mark from Sharkbait here again. Over the past few years, we've been very proud to represent accurate twin drag reels. You know, boy, we started with these folks soon after I opened up this business. So maybe since 1998 or so, we've been representing accurate products you know, proudly. You know, we were their biggest dealer. That's including international distributors here a couple of years ago. You know, some of those guys have caught up, so but we're still typically within the top three dealers uh, representing accurate reels. You know, it's not because they're inexpensive pieces, you know, but it is because we do try and represent the line well you know, and explain the benefits of an accurate twin drag reel, you know, probably better than anybody else out there with the guys that work here. I'll do my best to try and go over that a little bit, but even more importantly, we've had some requests from folks you know, to show the different sizes of the reels. You know, kind of hard to do in a still picture, a little easier to do in a video. So we'll spend a couple of moments doing that one this morning. Okay, about five years ago, Accurate introduced their spinning reels. You know, the first model in the line was a SR30. This is a 30 in our red. Actually, this one's spooled up because it's getting ready to go out the door to a client. The 30s will hold about 300 yards or so of 30 pound line. You know, that's how they're rated, about 200 yards of 20 on a 20, about 300 yards of 12 on a 12. Um, that's not how guys usually spool these things up. Like any accurate reel, they utilize a twin drag concept here. So we have drag being applied on the front of the spool, drag being applied on the rear of the spool. It's a sealed system. Both those drag elements work together. And as a result of having, this is a patented uh, process with accurate as a result of having drag evenly applied from both sides of the spool you're utilizing half as much drag pressure on either of the washers the benefit with that is one is putting a lot less wear and tear on the reel you've got less side load pressure on the lever drag reels which is a big issue we can get into later you can you can do just fine working more conservatively for a longer period of time on a reel like this. Um, for instance, we're not asking the reel to produce 30 pounds of drag off one washer. Uh, all that friction, all that pressure on one side, we can get away with 15 on either side. That's a lot more comfortable place for a reel to be. High performance reels, excellent machining across the board. On an SR30 like this, most guys will spool it up with 80 pound spectra, you know, as this one was done. Some may bump up to a 100 pound hollow, but 80 is most common. Some guys even go with 65 and pick up more yard, you know, line capacity. You know, and then we'll use a, a, a small top shock, you know, fluorocarbon, oftentimes mono for the abrasion resistance that provides. Spooling up with spectra on a spinning reel is a great way to go because we don't have line twist issues. So this is an SR30. The 30 is available two different ways. This is a 30L, or lower gear ratio. So instead of being up there, you know, pushing six to one on a retrieve rate, this drops her back down on the fours a lot better as a tuna piece. Now, that's the 30. Next up, the 20. Real comfortable piece to fish. Nice size, broad application. Again, most guys are gonna be spooling up a 20 with probably 65 pound spectra. On the little 12, most guys will go with uh, 50 pound spectra on that piece. Real useful reels. All the reels in the spinning series can be switched over. Undo this cap here. You can move the handle over to the other side so it's either left or right hand retrieve. Um, which is kind of convention in spinning because you know it's, it's a matter of which is your more powerful hand on the way you use the thing. Typically on a spinning reel, we're, we're not just cranking in a fish, we're utilizing the rod more, and so your, your power typically is going to be on the rod, you know, not on the crank, which is the reason for a left hand. In the Boss series of reels, again, we incorporate the twin drag design, drag being applied evenly from both sides of the spool, and a benefit with that too, just uh, to reinforce, there's less drag fluctuation. You know, on most reels, as you, as you move up on that drag curve, you can have a fair amount of fluctuation in terms of the a actual drag being applied. On these guys, that's that's within probably three to five percent maximum. Um, at 20 pounds of drag, maybe it's plus or minus one pound or less. You know, very consistent performance. But this is the little 400 narrow versus a standard 400. Both of these are two speeds. Both of these utilize a real easy ergonomic two-speed mechanism. I usually punch it 
down to low with my finger and then we'll raise it back up with my thumb on the release here. Very easy to operate these pieces. Um, wonderful lever. Uh, it used to, you know, if you if you shake them, you, you might move. That's not the case anymore on the levers. Accurate, even though they've been around for a long time and have always had a great design, they've improved uh, a great deal. The Boss Extreme Series, or the X Series, incorporated a lot of feedback from their first generation two speeds um, in this sequence of reels, and they're a much stronger piece now than they were before. Absolutely a much stronger piece and very reliable. Um, I won't say that necessarily about the old B series. Now, good reels when they were fished within their design parameters, but a lot of guys pushed them over the edge as far as how heavy they were fishing them and how much they were trying to button down the drag. Put a lot of pressure on the pieces. New ones, you're not going to have that problem in terms of the shaft, in terms of the bearings. Much, much stronger pieces by design. The little 400 narrow is skinny. Okay, It is a really, really skinny piece. And I, I've got to say on the front side, skinny is great. However, it will not match up well with all rods on the, on the market. Uh, just because you don't have as much room to work with back here on the clamp. Um, that can be a negative, unfortunately, for some rods. If you have a fairly skinny blank, you know, Seeker Hercules series, the Ahi Assassins, no problem whatsoever. But if you're trying to put that on a big fat jig stick, you may run into difficulty going with a narrow on a 400 or a narrow on a 500 series. Typically, the way the number sequence works, the 400 series is good for fishing 40 pound and down, 500 series, 50 pound and down, 600 series, 60 pound and down. I tend to fish in that 30 to 40 range on the 400s. When I get into the 500 series, this is probably my favorite series of reels from Acura just in terms of the size. These 500s are sweet, sweet pieces. Lend themselves real well. You know, I, I, we fish a lot of 40 pound out here on the long range side of things, and they're a wonderful reel for fishing 40 on. Now, we've, you'll notice two different handles here. There's a ball, and there's also a tee. Now, and obviously, we're dealing with some of the red custom pieces that we have at Do for us. <coughs> Where we go two speed, we typically go to a tee because you want more leverage on that, and it's an ergonomic tee, as you can see, it's canted out a little bit to the side. Uh, much like a T-bar, so you can really get some power out of that T-handle. Um, wonderful piece, you know, wonderful way of doing things. Um, that's a 500 narrow, same caveat, it's not going to fit on all rods if it's a big fat, you know, real seat, big fat blank, uh-uh, not a good match. You'd rather go to a 500, a standard 500, but if it's a skinnier stick, especially your jigging sticks, um, there, it's a wonderful match and you'll have adequate line capacity. Again, a lot of guys will be fishing 65 pound spectra on a 500 series and then go ahead and top her off up to 50. You know, 40 and 50 is real common on these guys. The standard 500 is probably one of the nicest sized reels to, to fish and cast you'll ever play with. Just, just sweet, sweet pieces. And the free spool performance, good. You do have on all the Boss series. Um, uh, basically, it's a mechanical uh, cast control. You can add or reduce pressure on that spool to allow it to spin even more uh, or less, depending upon how your thumb's doing and how much lead or weight you're trying to cast. Uh, that also has a, a gasket on it, so we're not intruding water in that respect. You have drainage back here on the gear case. That's a plus. Uh, for service on accurate reels, we service them. Other places service them. I tend to make use of the factory service on accurate. Uh, they do a wonderful job, and that way if, they have, if they've incorporated any changes, on the reels, they can go ahead and apply those to your piece. Uh, standard lever drag operation in free spool, you adjust the preset and then move it back up to strike, give it a pull with a spring scale, set your drag up for 25 to 30 percent of the line test, and then you're good to go. If you're off here, back it up, back off on the, on the, on the preset, add more to the preset, go back, retest, and you're good to go. If you need to go from the strike position to full, push a button, go on forward. Um, it's not going to go up to full and break you off unless you tell it to by pushing this button here on the side. Right here. Next series up would be the 600 series. On the 600s, there are three different widths. Uh, actually, there are four. There is a 600 narrow narrow. I'm not showing you that one right now. The narrow narrow is basically about a thumb's width. That sucker is skinny. That's, that is a, really a single purpose jigging reel. Works great. Most guys will go ahead and spool it up with 80-pound spectra. Um, 
some at 65, but more often than not as a jigger, if we're talking 80 pound. And 80 pound is most common what people put on here. This is my favorite size of a 600 series. It's a 600 narrow. It's like our old, um, old 113 narrows Baja special type reels that, that, you know, yellowtail specials that guys have been fishing out here on the West Coast for years. This is a single speed ball handle. And again, when we go two speed, we typically stick on a tee. So that's a 600 narrow. That is our standard 600, a little bit wider. Again, it's a nice size to fish. If you're gonna be fishing 60, I'd probably go here. If you're going 50, I'd probably go here. But I'd top both, of, or I'd go ahead and back both of these up in that 80 pound range because you may wanna go ahead and bump them all up. Regardless if you're fishing at 50, you may want that option to go 60. 600 series, nice size to fish. They also make a wide. Um, that wide has some applications, maybe on the guys doing sales. Um, for me, or, and actually as a drop back for Marlin, it works out real, real well. As a casting piece though, narrow is always good. Uh, the 600 or the 600 narrow being the two favorites in that respect. A couple of years ago, Accurate succumbed to pressure uh, and price point and came out with a Boss Extreme Series in a 30, a 30 narrow, which is a great piece at the rail. Now, I really like the old International 20s in terms of size. But what we have here is a 30 and a 50. These pieces retail, oh boy, uh, 650 or so or a little less than that. Powerful reels again, same design, you know, concept, same application as far as, you know, the two-speed mechanism, um, the way the drag is applied from both sides of the spool. They'll use a bearing as far as the anti-reverse, so it's instantaneous. Uh, it's oversized on that bearing, which is, a, which is a plus because that can be a source of weakness on a reel. Same on the drainage. We have drainage here on the piece. We also have it back on the gear case. Uh, so you can get rid of the salt water once it comes in. Wonderful to be able to get into a 30 or a 50 accurate for less than a grand. Uh, that's not where the pieces typically are. Light in terms of weight for their strength and size. Beyond here, we get into the ATD series. And the ATDs, that's just a whole different animal of reel. Um, the ATDs are probably the best pieces built. You know, I don't know of too many companies that can do a better job than Acura does in terms of machining. And then just that intuitive logic you know, of applying the, the, the drag pressure from both sides of the spool just makes for incredibly even, long-lasting drag performance. And I can't tell you how often we hear that from people that are on a boat with some other manufacturer's gear. You know, and, and the spinning reels, I heard it from one of our clients recently who went to the Carolinas to fish the big bluefin. You know, it just, other pieces, those drags fade. Other pieces, the drags you know, jerk, 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 where the accurate reels are just smooth, just smooth as they can be. And that helps a heck of a lot. On an ATD, you have more adjustments here. Uh, you actually can set your drag up and have it dialed in so you've got different curves. That's what these positions are here with along this lever. So you can have different applications for specific conditions now, and have that dialed in. And so this is our standard lever, just like any other lever drag, but you are able to, to change that curve to match up with different conditions. Again, no finer pieces of machining out there, no finer pieces from design as an active twin drag reel. That's the ATD. The ATDs have taken a lot of big tuna. This is a bigger piece. This is a 50. Um, real, real common reel to see on the long range fleet when your guys are targeting those 300 pound yellowfin. Although, a lot of guys are doing great on the smaller 12 size. Uh, 12 is like an international 12 size. Uh, a little bit wider because of the twin drag. But that 12 has taken fish over 300 and it casts well. All the twin drag pieces will cast very, very well. With that. Thank you much for spending the time to watch the little brief video. Yeah, I know we didn't get into the internals. We didn't dissect the reels and take them apart. The uh, main thing was to show off the sizes. Um, if you have any questions, please do call us back or visit the website. You know, we can go over the reels in a little more depth with you. Certainly stop by the store. Happy to show them to you either here in Huntington Beach or back at our San Diego location. In any event, accurate twin drag reels, certainly among the finest reels ever produced. Thank you. Bye-bye.